What's up guys and gals and welcome to the Nerd Castle. Today we're checking out a lightweight little, I don't know, tycoon type game called Roxas Night Market. I'll put the link for you down below if you wanted to check the game out for yourself and have a good time with it. Let's sell some banana shakes. What else have I ever wanted in life but to sell banana shakes? It's a wholesome business to be in. It's a wholesome business to be in. Just flipping banana shakes, making people happy, turning frowns upside down. Till you get food poisoning though. I got food poisoning one time. I got a, I got, I'll tell you exactly what I got. I got a razzmatazz when I was up at uh, Jamba Juice. And oh my god, worst food poisoning I've ever had and I've never gone back ever since. I just, I can't even look at a Jamba Juice without feeling ill. Uh, Mayor Sarah. Hello there. Welcome to Devau. I am Sarah, mayor of this city. We're currently in Roxas Avenue, the busiest avenue in Devau. Right now, this avenue is just a passageway for cars and jeepneys. What the hell is a jeepney? I've never heard that word in my life. What's a jeepney? Is it like a jeep? Is it like a big jeep? Hmm. But I have plans to make Roxas Avenue something more than that. You see, I want to turn Roxas Avenue into a tourist attraction in the middle of the highway, though. We're in the middle of a highway. I don't think tourist attractions go in the middle of a highway. I think we might have a high rate of vehicular manslaughter. Fatalities might rise, is all I'm saying. I plan on turning it into a marketplace where people can enjoy and tour around. Roxas Avenue is going to become the Roxas Night Market. It seems like you could help in making that plan a reality. I sound like Santa Claus or something from like one of those old like stop motion movies from like the 60s. Are you up for it? I am. Yay. Huzzah! Let's get started. Alright, so, uh... We've got Roxas Avenue here. To turn Roxas Avenue into an awesome marketplace, we're gonna need some stalls. Here's 2,500 coins to get you started. Oh my god, I'm rich! Click on a for sale lot and buy a stall. Alright, so it looks like we've already got some kind of stall right there. Probably from when I was testing the game out before. Uh, I guess I'll do a fruit shake stall. Yay! Fruit shake stall. Shake it, shake it, baby. Da -na -na. Dude, if you need a fruit shake, we got you covered. If you have enough stock, you can click on start day and begin selling. Let's sell some- Oh, there's a dude in a little banana suit. How do I get the guy in a banana suit? People are going to come here soon. You can watch as they buy from your stall. Why are they just walking around in the middle of the freeway? This is how you earn money for yourself to turn the Roxas Night Market into an awesome attraction. Your stalls have until 12 a.m. midnight to sell to customers. By the way, if things are too slow, click on speed up. Okay, let's do that. Oh, look at the little people, though. Little Peoples is running around in the middle of the freeway. There's a monster inside the sewer right there. Don't think I didn't notice that. That lady just walked right over the monster's head. What would you have done if it had grabbed your ankle, though? That, to this day, is one of the worst nightmares I've ever had. I had a nightmare one time where I was lucid dreaming, and a hand came up over the side of the bed and grabbed my leg, and I was like, ah, what the shit? And then I woke up, and then I was like, oh my god, it was all a dream, but I was in the same room that I was at in the dream, and so I didn't know if I was awake or asleep, and it was not fun. I did not like that at all. Being human is stupid. Well, you should be ready to manage the Roxas Night Market on your own now. That's all it takes? I walk up, you hand me a bunch of money, and I just start a market on a freeway? This sounds like a... This sounds like a real, real... This, this sounds like they're putting the ingredients together for, like, organized crime or something. There's no way it's this easy to get, like, $2,500. Soon you'll make the Roxas Night Market grow into a booming attraction. I'll be back after 100 days to see how things are going. If all is well, the Roxas Night Market is for sure a success. If not, well, it'll return to being the boring old Roxas Avenue. We wouldn't want that. Good luck! Are you saying that you're gonna murder me if I don't turn this into something? I'm gonna sell this booth. Forget this booth. This booth is stupid. I want a new booth. Ooh! What can I have? An saw stall? What the hell is saw? A quick quick stall. What's a quick quick stall? Hmm. We have three grand. Let's go for, I don't know, barbecue sounds good. A stall which sells saw at five coins a piece is good for startups. With the right upgrades, it could turn into a highly profitable stall. Alright, let's have some barbecue, man. I love barbecue. Barbecue's my jam. And so we can get a neon sign, we can get an extra plate, we can get a spinning eye saw statue, and an extra grill. Get the extra grill, and then get the neon sign. We're gonna make this happen. Nobody can turn down barbecue! 
That's the standard, dude. If you've got a barbecue place, people are gonna come by because barbecue is delicious. And then we've got Banana Man. I gotta have Banana Man. How can I not have Banana Man? He's awesome. That's the upgrade that everybody needs. And then Durians. You're not in Devao if you don't have Durian. This sweet pungent fruit makes customers pay two coins more. Okay. Yeah, do your thing. So I guess we've got Durians now, and we've got Banana Man now. Uh, you restock, I guess. How much does this cost? Oh, not that much. Okay, let's get started. Start my day, Banana Man! Lure them all over with your pelvic thrusting dance! Dance, Banana Man! Dance! Our fiscal future depends upon it! Oh my god, look at his little face right now. That's my favorite thing that has ever happened in the history of the universe. Who wants bananas? Everybody get bananas! Get them bananas! Shake it on off! Go to get them bananas! Sell them! Oh! Look at that little jiggly does! That's, <laughs> that's the best thing I've ever seen in my life! Oh, I've seen some stuff too! And that's my favorite! Oh my god! I would give it all up for just that right there! Dude, did we sell out? Hell yeah, we sold out! Nice! And so we made $143! Uh, so we got two stalls for right now! Uh, we probably, let's restock first to make sure in the photo album. Oh, cool, there's a customer's album. Dollar dollar bill, y'all. There's the rich kid. He likes to shower money for everybody. He pays a koi more with every purchase. Uh, we've got Joe and Jane. They are very average and generic. As generic and average as they can get. Okay. What upgrades can I afford? Barbecue stand sold out. So, gets you, ooh, I can stock twice as much with that. Yeah, do that. Give me the extra plate because people were coming in and they bought that out super quick. And so we'll get the extra plate right there. And then boop, double the amount of stock we can carry. What? What? All right, let's get profitable. Jiggle, little banana man. I am the banana. I like to drink my Fanta. I sit in front of the safe shack. If you give me cash, you don't get it back because it's a store and that's how commerce works. He's banana man. Speed it on up and do your thing. <laughs> <laughs> that little jiggle dance is awesome. Oh man, if he could just sit there and do that jiggle dance all day long, I would I would keep a gif of that on my computer at all times. And I would just watch it whenever I was in a bad mood. Whenever I was feeling a little sad, I'd just be like, you know what we need right now? Banana Man. Banana Man fixes all. I mean, we sold pretty good stock right there. I think we need our throughput to go through faster. So I think if we can tune up our serving speed, we'll be in better shape. We got $425. Restock real quick. Yup, get it done. And then... Stall's full. How is it full? That's not full. Oh, man. It only does increments. Okay. So, did we get any new customers? No. We only have the rich kid for right now. Uh, what upgrades? I need serving to go faster. And it, so, it looks like the blend matic is how we do that. Uh, we get more customers. I'm going to save my money for right now. What upgrades do you have? A spinning eye saw. Okay, so he's already serving at, like, maximum rate. Let's just go another day. We got this. Jiggle, little banana man. Make it so that we do commerce. Jiggling in the street. Next to barbecue heat. I want you to come buy my stuff. Do not touch my banana made of fluff. I figure it's made out of fluffs on the inside. It seems like the logical thing that it might be made out of. Like, it's probably got some kind of, like, fluffy stuffing in there. Yup. I feel like people don't really want barbecue, though. Like, this coin is not coming in as rapidly as I would like it to come in. We gotta get rich faster, man. It's like Fiddy said, get rich or die trying, bro. We gotta do what we gotta do. Although we almost sold out today, so that's positive. I think we're gonna end with a little bit more money than we had previously, even after restocking fees. So, yeah, we made like 300 bucks. That's pretty good. Ooh, we got the businessman. What does businessman mean? Businessman. All work and no play. Guy is less patient compared to other customers. Ah, gotcha. So he's just kind of a dick. I understand completely now. With 600 bucks, I don't think we have enough money to upgrade anything. I need the Blendomatic for over here. What do the other stalls cost? A lot. I should have gone for an ice cream stall or something with a higher profit margin. Banana Man, dance for me. It is hot outside. Come get yourself banana rides. Come in front of the street. Watch out for the monster in the heat. He's in the sewer. He wants to eat ya. Gonna be bad, so hurry fast. I got nothing else for that song. <laughs> I like to imagine he's singing right there because his little mouth comes open. And he does like a little swishy thing with his arms. <laughs> Don't step on the grate. You just might get ate. Grab your shake and get the hell out because we want to come and sell out. See, I could do Disney songs. It'd be easy. I could do Disney songs all day. 
Disney songs would be the simplest thing ever. 9.30. Uh, yeah, keep restocking, I guess. I'm trying to get money up right now. I'm trying to get paid up. Uh, can he not do, like, a double... Is he not able to have double capacity? I guess he's not. I may actually get rid of that then, because he's more efficient. And so, like, what can I sell this stall for? What is this stall? Uh, 500 coins. We're gonna need to wait a little bit while longer, because I need to make sure we're gonna have enough money to get into the ice cream stand or whatever, uh, before we get rid of him. And then I think the ice cream stand probably make a little bit more money. We are still just chilling in the street right now, though. Oh, shit, it's the rich kid. He walked on by flapping that dollar bill just like, look at this cash. Uh, uh, look at this cash. Get him. Go, go. Look at this cash like, wow. He's got money. When you got money, you got money. When you got them dope cash stacks, you know, who can argue? Made a little bit more money there today. I don't care what our profits were. That doesn't matter right now. We just got to buzz past another couple days till we have enough money to actually do something over here all right speed it on up come on banana man this is it come and buy my shit it's gonna be amazing come and buy my shit come and start your grazing come and get yourself a shake and barbecue it's really great <laughs> i'm having too much this banana just made this playthrough for me he just made this gameplay impressions for me. That's it. Like, that's all I needed was Banana Man. I didn't even need the rest of the game. I just need Banana Man standing in the middle of the street, like, shaking his arms around. But I'll lose Banana Man if I... Oh, no. I will lose Banana Man if I get the ice cream shack. That'd be the worst, though. I don't want to lose Banana Man. If I lose Banana Man, that's going to suck. I got to keep Banana Man. That's it. We got to keep Banana Man. All right, so I let a couple days go past so that we could get the money together without you guys having to witness the grind that I was going through, that lineage grind. But we got enough for the ice cream stand now. I don't know if Quek Quek is better than ice cream, but ice cream seems like the logical conclusion here. Let's have an ice cream. Oh, we get more stall spaces. I don't lose Banana Man. Oh, my God. I don't lose Banana Man. This is the best day of my life. I'm so happy right now. I don't lose Banana Man. That's all that I cared about is I didn't want to lose Banana Man. Ooh, ice cream looks like it goes for a volume type deal. Let's try it out. Banana Man, serenade me. Ice cream, it is on the grass. Ice cream, fatten up your ass. Get those calories, they are what you need. Don't make me say please, because I'm impolite. Let's go. All right, so there you go. You got your Banana Man jingle. Banana Man gets it. I don't think they're going to do a lot of sales over here at the uh, ice cream stand, simply based on the fact that he doesn't have any advertising right now. We gotta set up like a viral marketing campaign around our ice cream. That or we gotta convince people that it makes your dick bigger. That's the two options that we have right now. It's dick enlarging ice cream. It's the only way that it can happen. And I'm pretty sure it'll sell. I mean, given the sheer volume of penis pills that exist in the world, I'm pretty sure dudes will fall for it. I'm not taking advantage of something glorious in our human past, all right? This is, this is shameful advertising that I'm not proud of. A big jar of sprinkles makes the customers pay one more. A neon ice cream. Yeah, do a neon ice cream over there. That'll help out. I need more customers over here. We got a neon ice cream. We got new people down here. We got the granny. Granny is very patient and will wait longer in queues. However, she pays one coin less. What? This isn't... You can't haggle? The price is the price. Pay it or get out. You got to get harder on old ladies, man. You gotta get, you gotta get harder on old ladies. That's all that I have to say about that, is if, if you ain't gonna be slanging that stuff the proper way, like, I go to, I go to great lengths right now to make sure that you have all the supplies you need in order to make successful sales, and at the same time, you letting grannies off and letting them pay a dollar less. Like, what kind of fiscal sense does that make? I run a business here. This is not a charity. If granny wants to get her ice cream, she needs to pay the real price that everybody else paid, alright? Blood and a little bit of gold. That's it. Blood and gold. Uh, it looks like we made almost $400 that day. That's pretty cool. Restocking is sort of costing me. Why does it cost so much to do the shakes? Why do the shakes cost so much to restock and everything else doesn't? Do they sell for more? I don't know, but those must be some primo quality shakes right there. If that's how it's gonna go down. Speed this thing on up. I like to see my profits come in fast. That's how Splatty plays the game. I gotta see things happen here. Let's go. Walk on. Yep, walk in the middle of the street. That's fine. Don't get run over by traffic, though, on your way in. Um, that's not good for you. Traffic hurts. Traffic will make you feel tremendous amounts of pain if you get perhaps sucked up under a bus or stuck inside of the rotary assembly of an RX-8. Uh, you're going to have a rough weekend. It's not going to be good for you. It's going to be very bad for you, and you're going to have doctor's bills, and it's going to be very expensive. 
104 dollars uh, we actually made less today than we made yesterday the vegan came in what does the vegan want let's see after watching the movie okiar this girl no longer wants to eat products with meat in them they will avoid the i saw stall at all cost what about the kek kek stall or whatever the hell that thing's called what is that thing called the quek quek stall they will avoid the quek quek stall okay because that's kind of sad because i was thinking about putting in like more i saw stalls because I saw seems to sell out like the fastest. Yeah, I don't know why we're selling these shakes. I don't think the shakes are breaking even. I think the shakes are costing me money. Because they sell for five apiece, but I'm buying them for 25 for five. So I'm pretty sure that place just breaks even. It never does any better. What upgrades can I afford up here? I got a bellman. Yeah, get people over here. I need volume on this one. Give me the bellman. Shake it, shake it, baby. I got ice cream. It's for your tummy. I got ice cream. For your money. Give me money. You can get ice cream. Give me money. Eat it in the street. Give me money. Get some barbecue. In the city. In the city. Ooh, that made our profits quite a bit better. Yup, that made our profits go up like crazy. All right, now we're making that good money. Still costing us a little bit to sell on up, but we'll restock over here. And then we'll restock on this side. And I just, I'm keeping this stall right now purely because of Banana Man. That's the only reason this stall is staying here is purely because of Banana Man. Uh, we got a big jar of sprinkles. Hell yeah, charge them more for jimmies. There it is. Throw some, throw some jimmies on that thing. Here we go. It's time for us to shake it. Yup. Banana Bell Man Solo. Go! Make him come on over here. She'll eat ice cream though? I thought vegans didn't have milk or anything either. I guess there's different kinds of vegans. Dude, there are a lot of vegans walking around right now. Veganism has taken over this place. It has taken the... Where are we right now? Roxas. It's taken Roxas by storm. Everybody's trying to get some of that vegan life. We actually did not sell that much ice cream, but it did get more expensive. So I'm hoping our profit margins will get like a little bit better. I don't think we made that much money today. I have a sneaking suspicion that today was a bad day for us, unfortunately. Uh, restock the stalls, and we're just going to have to hit it again real fast. We're going to have to hit it again. That hustle, though, man. This food cart hustle's rough. I, I never thought, like, that's what me and my buddy Paradigm want to do. Me and my buddy Paradigm are out there trying to... I want to make a food cart. Like, if I ever get out of this YouTube business, that's what I'm going to have. Me and Paradigm are going to have a barbecue ribs truck. And we're going to bring them on out to you, because we got those barbecue ribs on stack. You guys don't even know. Barbecue ribs on stat. Grannies, get up in here. Get you some barbecue. Ain't nothing put the strength back in a granny like barbecue. Yup, that's right. So you can beat those kids with a chancleta extra strong. Eh, we made a little bit of money. Not a lot. We'll restock. And I think... What upgrades we got going on over here that'll bring people over? Ooh, two more coins with every purchase. Oh, the Jimmy's replace your neon ice cream. Okay, a spinning umbrella for 600 bucks. Sure, why not? Put a spinning umbrella on it. I like animations. Animations are good. Anything that adds a little bit more movement and color to this whole thing. Hopefully the motor don't burn out, though. If it does, it's not going to be good, man. It's not going to be good. Everybody get up over here. Get some ice cream. Yup, everything. You know, it's bad for the body, good for the soul. I had somebody tell me that one time at a Cold Stone Creamery. I was like, man, I don't like eating here. Y'all got too many calories in your stuff. Like, that's why he was like, why aren't you ordering anything? Because my girlfriend at the time was getting something. I was like, He's not, you're not getting anything? I was like, no, nah, man, I don't need the calories. He's like, man, forget that. It's bad for the body, good for the soul. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know if I buy that. I don't think that's good for me. We made a little bit more money that time around. We're trying, but it's a slow grind. You know what I mean? It's a slow grind. You don't just naturally get what you want rapidly. You got you to gotta hustle in this life. You got to hustle. Where them grannies at? I know them grannies want to get some of this stuff. Granny's trying to get it right now. Yep, buy all my stuff out. There it goes, Banana Man. Shaking for you now, Banana Man. Got ice cream from a cow. We squeeze it out of the cow's teat. It puts in your mouth and it tastes for sweet. Uh, I figure maybe his grasp on English is not so good. That's I modified right there. I, I feel like that song was a little bit lower than the rest of the songs that he's pitched, though. He made 300 that day. That's not too bad. So we can either have more publicity or we can have more money. I don't know which is better. I kind of feel like this place was doing better when it had the uh, neon ice cream over here. 
But now that I can't afford another neon ice cream, I guess that's that. I would love to have another neon ice cream. I should probably put in another stall. I'm gonna put in an ice sauce stall. Everybody loves barbecue. I think we were right on the money with that marketing. Everybody loves barbecue? Who doesn't love barbecue? Barbecue's the best. Uh, give me... Yeah, the wooden sign, just so he does a little bit more business. And then now we got, there it is, we got them stalls now, son. Yep, stalling for cash. Come on, everybody get up in here and pay the man. Get up in here and pay the man. Oh, it's kind of a slow, that dude went from one barbecue place to the next barbecue place. That was a dude after my own heart right there. He was like, barbecue with a side of barbecue. Aw, yes. And I was like, hey man, you do what you gotta do. Sometimes you gotta, sometimes the sides, you gotta have barbecue with barbecue. You gotta do what you gotta do. I bet we made less money today. I feel like we made less money. We made less money. We got a new stall and we still made less money. I wonder if they leech off of each other. Seems possible. They might leech off of each other a little bit. Maybe I should have spaced them out a tiny bit. Go! Time for another day of barbecue slanging. Man, just being a barbecue magnate, this is exhausting. I'm like the barbecue dude right now. I'm the barbecue man. They can come find me. We got barbecue for a minute. Ooh, day 21 is looking to be pretty profitable. Man, they are lined up. This place is getting a little bit hyped. I bet it smells so good, too. Like when you go to the carnival or like you go to the festival and you can smell the food court from like all the way across and you're just like, mmm, you can smell it. Just that smell of like roasting meat and like sandwiches and bread and everything else. Ooh, we made 500 bucks that day. We stepped it up a notch. Yeah, that's the kind of profits I'm looking for. That means we can start to expand stuff a little bit quicker. That means we can expand things a tiny bit quicker. So for the barbecue stall over here, what can I do to make you more efficient? He can stall, he can stock twice as much, or we can get the extra grill and just wait. Let's wait for the extra grill, because we should be able to get it after today. I mean, I don't think a whole lot of strategy goes into this game, but I'm enjoying myself. I think this game is pretty swell. Hopefully people buy food today. Oh, this guy over here is getting skunked. This poor bastard. I went to, but don't fall for it though. I was at the carnival one time, and I went to this stall that no one else was going to. There was a reason. That was the worst food I've ever tasted in my life. That food could be used as a punishment. Like, I'm pretty sure that's probably what they beat you with, like, I don't know, in hardcore, like, death prison. Like, that food was the worst. I ate, like, a tiny bit of it and was like, nah, I'm out. I can't, mm-mm. I ended up throwing it in the trash. It was just, it was so gross. It was so gross and so bad. I couldn't make it, Nerd Castle. I tried so hard. I tried so hard. I tried to make it, but I just couldn't. 1200 for a giant neon ice cream. Or we can just save up the money and get another stall. That's the other option, is we can get another stall. Because I feel like quantity might work out pretty well. They drop coins and make wishes without restocking. Increases total customer visits by 15%. Ooh, that's pretty good. I sort of want that. I want it, because it gives me money for doing nothing. And is there anything more sacred than receiving money for doing nothing? I think not. This game is called Roxas Night Market. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, you can check it out down below. I'll have a link for you so you can look at it. We're out here trying to make some money right now, trying to make sure that everything's cracking. And the money is flowing in. I mean, the stock goes down by at least 50% every single day. If you get too many business guys, I think that's where you lose a lot of the money at. That's why you got to get those efficiency upgrades that make them serve faster so you can get the business guy money. But anyways, just a simple little game that I thought would be fun. And also it has Banana Man. I will see you all in whatever comes next. Bye, everybody. If you like this video, hit the like button. It's the easiest way to support the channel. Other than that, I got nothing for you.